Hey guys, welcome back to Hitman, Agent 47 in action. No hair, but uh, no fear either. So the story so far is you've had the prologue, the training missions, then we took it to Paris, and that was the end of the main game. Then episode one was, of course, Sapienza, fantastic map. Episode two was Marrakesh, and now the new episode has been released, and it is Bangkok. Now, this came out a few days ago, but I was at Gamescom. Uh, Gamescom was great. Uh, but unfortunately it meant I could not play the new Hitman mission. So, we're jumping in right now today, as soon as I could. 47. Oh, let's Your do it. Your destination is the Himapan Luxury Hotel Resort on the Chao Praia River, just outside Bangkok. A hotel? Your main target is Jordan Cross, the lead singer of The Class, a renowned indie rock outfit recording their highly anticipated sophomore album. But this millennial poster boy harbors a dark secret. A millennial. Promising young actress Hannah Highmore fell to her death from Cross's penthouse loft oh. in Dublin, New York. According to the police, Miss Highmore's death was a tragic accident, but her parents remain unconvinced. They Doesn't it like she fell there? That Cross murdered Hannah and only escaped justice due to the power and influence of his father, billionaire media mogul Thomas Cross. A secondary target, Ken Morgan, corporate fixer and attorney to the Cross family, is also staying at the hotel. Cunning and unscrupulous, Morgan was a key agent in the cover-up of Hannah Highmore's murder and Jordan Cross's subsequent acquittal. The Highmores understandably want retribution, and while the system may be powerless, ICA is anything but. Oh, oh wow! To prepare. So we're delivering justice to a hipster rock star who murdered, uh, I think, what must have been his girlfriend? Who knows? Uh, right, so objectives. Here we go. Kill Jordan Cross using any weapon, any disguise. And also, Ken Morgan is the secondary target, his partner in crime. All right, now there isn't much to do planning-wise because we haven't done this mission yet, so we haven't got any points to invest into new equipment or disguises and things. But let's take a look at the disguise options. So we're gonna go casual suit or signature suit. Let's stick casual, actually. I like that shirt on him. He looks very, very dashing in that shirt. Starting location is the Riverside Landing. Where else can you go, 47 Suite? Undercover in the restaurant. And it's cool to look at these uh, other starting locations because it gives you little bits of intel into how the map flows. So there is a security shed, there's a bar, there's a side garden, there's, there's hallways, okay, yeah, pretty much knew that. Uh, a linen room and the restaurant kitchen. So it feels like the whole thing is just inside this one big hotel with a little bit of outdoors. Okay. Obviously, the coin is a great tool for uh, distracting guards. Fiber wire is only good for killing, and we don't like killing. So what I think we might do is take a lockpick, perhaps? Or maybe a breaching charge, that'd be cool. Yeah, let's go for the lockpick. Yeah, that'll be the most handy item. Now, there's a smuggled item, a large agency pickup in 47 Suite. We could put something in here, maybe like a sniper rifle, just in case. We probably won't use it, but why not? All right, that's the planning done. Now, let's play. Welcome to Bangkok 47. Ken Morgan has booked the Queen Suite, but is yet to check in. You will find him in and around the restaurant. Oddly enough, Jordan Cross seems completely unaware of his presence. Cross and the class have set up a recording studio in the Emperor's Suite on the third floor. Private security around Cross and his entourage is highly capable. Still, I'm sure you can find your way into his inner circle. After all, today is Jordan Cross's 27th birthday. Happy the birthday! The rock stars die. Good luck, 47. 27. Oh man, luckily I, I, I dodged that bullet. Luckily I'm not a rock star though. Oh, well, maybe unluckily. I don't know. I wouldn't mind being a rock star. All right, let's do it. Oh, man, I wouldn't mind staying at this place. This is a pretty swish hotel. I've stayed in a couple of nice hotels in my time, but nothing on this level. Look at this. Oh, man. Imagine just waking up in the morning and taking one of these boats out and getting eaten by a crocodile out on this lovely swamp. <laughs> That's probably got like a million and one diseases in, inside it. And it's probably got like underwater sofas ready to capsize any unwary kayaker. Yo, what up? Jeez. So, my secondary target is out and about, over here. And immediately we can see our first target. And our second target is up there. You can tell he's the second target because he's got a pointier head, which is, I think, his ponytail. And this guy is definitely a little bit more rotund. Which is, um, an eloquent way of saying fat. 
So let's go and follow him around. See if we can that plot his movements. That is Ken the Brick Morgan, the brick. lawyer and corporate fixer. He's kind of shaped like a brick, I suppose. But Agent Forty Seven is as hard as a brick. So let's see where he goes. It looks like he's got a bodyguard on him twenty four seven. So we're gonna have to watch out for that. And we have to find the moment where he's away from him. Now we want to get an accidental kill. Wait, I recognize you. You're Ken Morgan. Yeah, yeah, they call you the Brick, right? What? Keith McKenzie, U.S. Attorney's Office, South District. Keith? I saw you at the Chelsea Whitmore trial. Your strategy was the brassiest thing I've ever seen. Oh, he's a lawyer. You burned a homeless man alive. Sir? And framed your cheerleading rival. And you got her off on affluenza charges? Stroke of genius, sir. I see. You're, um... I'm not gonna give me the speech about how I'm part of the problem. About uh, how you will never embrace the private sector because you're fighting the good fight. And uh, well, justice is more important than money. Shit, no. The U.S. Attorney's Office is just a stepping stone to me. You don't buy a place in the Hamptons on a state salary. Hmm. Uh, Keith, was it? Give my office a call. Morgan, Yates & Co. We may have something for you. Thank you, sir. Ah, uh, this guy wants a- he wants to hire a mole inside on the attorney's office. Man, this guy's a very good lawyer. Tend into the shrubs, I see. That's cute to subdue. Oh, imagine if real life was like, um, was like Hitman. You just walked around and you saw, like, just prompts. Hey, what's up? And you saw prompts above people's heads, just like Q to subdue, E, snap, neck. Not a problem. Right, so he is on his own I here. This is time. quite a secluded area. No, no. This is a place to do it, for sure. We don't want John to know. Oh, no, 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 wait. His, his bodyguard's here too. But that bin right there would be the perfect place to hide an explosive. Something, Something worth thinking about. Opportunities revealing. Right, so let's take a look at the opportunities. And see what's up. So, our friend's electric. I guess we can electrocute the guy. Bug man. Something to do with a bug van. Intervention. And like I said, you can look at these uh, these opportunities and work out ways to kill both targets accidentally. Happy birthday. It's his party. Oh, right. Yeah, of course. He's 27. Man machine. Something to do with drums. Mm. On the house. Something to do with the room service. The smoking gun. I have no idea. Oh! No, maybe we can, like, maybe he goes to smoke a cigar, and we can sabotage his cigar. And Tick Tuck, that's like a, like a, one of those three-wheeled cars from India. It's true. I have heard some of the same. Something about Miss Barrett confiscating an audio recording for Ross. Oh. It was for his own good that listening to her turned into a session. Hannah Heimel's name was mentioned. The girlfriend of Oh, yeah, the plot thickens. You don't believe that crap, do you? That Cross killed his girlfriend. Well, I believe it, but yes, the track ends. Apparently, Jordan Cross has been obsessing over a mysterious audio recording featuring the voice of Hannah Highmore. However, his manager Dexy Barrett has confiscated the recording for her client's own good. Well, I suggest you get a hold of that recording, 47. Sounds like the perfect bait, and if my hunch is right, a chance to confront Cross with his crimes. You could start by searching Miss Barrett's private quarters, room 404, inside the Emperor's suite. All right, let's do it. Let's focus on the main target first. We can come back to deal with the brick. But right now, we want to get inside and get this cassette. So let's do it. Pick up the pace. It's cardio time, 47. Oh, man, yeah, look at this hotel. What's this? Place missing note from Dexy. Hmm. Now, let's keep our eyes peeled still for other opportunities. But it looks like 55 meters that way is our target. Talk to Mrs. Who? Yeah, okay, let's do that. Welcome, sir, to the Himapan Hotel. Do enjoy your stay. Right, so we're not actually in India. We're in Bangkok. I need to remember that. Which is, I think... Uh, no, sir. I can't let you through here. Why not? Heightened security. New orders. Uh, oh, sir. man. Okay, I've got to find another way around. Or a disguise to get me through there. 
Now, this hotel probably wraps around, so there's probably another way up here to get around there. The lounge? They closed it off. Yeah, the cross people. I mean, it's like they're taking over the place room by room, as if the noise wasn't enough. <sighs> it's getting rude. People pay good money to stay here. We're not second-class citizens just because the owner's son decides to pop by. Ah, uh, the owner doesn't give a shit. He's the head of a media empire, probably only owns this place as a tax write-off. <sighs> Whatever. There's plenty of other places to go. Ah, uh, sure. But I know this won't be streaming their own. So, uh, when is Dexy Barrett coming to pick me up? Oh, oh it's from Liverpool? Heavy stuff, man. I mean, head up to the studio yourself if you want. No, no, I don't want to seem pushy. I'll, I'll wait. She didn't forget. All right, well, uh, in the meantime, actually, if you've got time to wait, let's grab a tinny or two, mates. Go and have, uh, have a can of Stella. Glass of champagne. So I guess I can poison that. These are like his sound crew and the people as part of his band's team or something. Sure, whatever. Now, am I going to find a disguise around here? That is a coconut. What? Works for me. Score. So I'm not supposed to be back there because, well, I'm not a waiter. But I do have a coconut. Who's the jittery guy over there? Looks like another one of those rock stars. Uh, that's Abel De Silva. He's only one of the most awesome drummers on the New York indie scene. He was in Death and Taxes and, and Flat Earth Society. Yeah, I, I like Top 40. Ah. Anyway, De Silva's filling in for the drummer in Jordan Cross's band, who quit yesterday. The record label flew him in, and I took him up to the restaurant lounge. Oh, Miss, Miss Barrett, the manager, she's gonna come get him soon. Gee, I guess I should get his autograph. You're interesting. The class's regular drummer unexpectedly uh -huh. quit the band, and the record label has flown in a replacement. Upcoming indie drummer Abel De Silva, who is currently waiting in the restaurant lounge. Better yet, Jordan Cross has not previously met Mr. De Silva, and the two of you do share a resemblance, 47. Wow, you mean he's got no hair? Thanks a lot. Alright, well, that's our way in. That's our ticket to the big time. Alright, well, I need, a, I need a uniform to get further into the building. I'm gonna take one of these guys' uniforms, one of the waiters. Because I can't take a guard's one, because the guards are guarding the doors, and some of the guards will know I'm not a real guard. Nobody watching? Bam, right in the kisser. <laughs> okay. Ah, oh, that was good. That felt good. Uh, don't snap her neck. Why can't I take her clothes? I guess she's the wrong size. Target lockdown. Alright, the guards are on the move. Which means I can get inside the suite. But then again, maybe hitting her with a coconut isn't such a good idea. <laughs> What's this? Turn off the sound system. Ah, and when the guy comes around to turn it back on, I can subdue him, get a waiter's outfit, and that's my end. Right, here we go. And drag. Drop. Disguise. Drag. And dump. Whew. Okay. Finally. Right, so now I have a cool uh, cool disguise. I can get the silvers. This is it. Okay, time for a coconut. Is he gonna does he care about coconut? Stop throwing things! You can hit someone smack right in the head, you know. Oh, oh, no, don't look at me. Are you some kind of clown or, or a performance artist? <laughs> it's just a coconut dude! Okay. Bam. Now where the guards at? Okay. Get the disguise. Man, I'm looking hip. All right, now I've got the disguise. It's time to get upstairs and find out what the hell's going on. But it looks like it's on the other side of the building. This is my in though. This is my way to waste this dude. What's up? The silver here, coming through. I'm supposed to be here. I promise. Mr. Silver, how are you? Hey, I'm good. How are you? It's me. I'm totally supposed to be here. What's up? 
approach Jordan Cross. But before I do, let's F1 it and open up the other opportunity to find the tape. Intel, here we go. The mysterious recording. Okay, track this. Now she is the one that has it. What's up, Abel? But where? Room 404. Hey, Mr. De Silva. Dexie Barrett was supposed to pick you up at the restaurant lounge. Huh. Oh, well, while well, you're here, who oh, cares? Go right you're going to tell me about that performance in Boston. Oh, yeah, man. Oh, that was crazy. So, uh, it's back when the soft currents. Right, this is the recording level. This is where everything takes place. Start mixing as recording crew. All oh, right, so you can just blend in. Increase the voltage on the voltage regulator, but that is suspicious and will get me uh, get me noticed. So what else can I do around here? Let's take a look. Mr. De Silva. Yo, what's up? It's me. Uh, I like me because it's, it's me. Mr. De Silva from the appeal. Drummer Supreme. Where else can we go? Crowbar could come in handy. Now, I'm pretty sure I can go anywhere I like around here with impunity. Nobody cares what's up. But I need to find Sweet 404. Forget approaching Jordan Cross. Oh, God, but there he is. That is Jordan Cross, revered and reviled in equal measures. Oh. Right, is this Dexie Barrett's room? No, is that her hat? Yeah, it looks like it. Yeah, it looks like it could be her room. But where is the recording? Aha! Use combination. Missing penthouse safe combination. No! So we need to subdue her and find out her combination. Now hold on a second. She must actually come back here at some point. If this is her room. Right, so she's in there. I can see her right now. These guards know I'm not supposed to be in there though. So when they're not looking, I'll duck inside. Oh, she's coming this way. So Jordan's the front man and Heidi's the guitarist with Mystique. Damn it, I should have stayed inside there. Where is she now? Aha! Here she is, and no one is around. I could subdue her right now. No. Nope. Okay, we just need a second here. Can you come back? Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Okay, it looks like she doesn't actually go into her room. So what do you think? Uh, hey, did Jordan What's up, Abel? Maybe we can chat to her, get the combination. Excuse me, you're making me very uncomfortable. <laughs> really? Maybe rub up against a dog no or something alcoholic. instead. Okay. He mostly drinks that god awful scented water. Well, she comes out here. Maybe she gets on the phone with somebody. Let's just talk to jo talk to Jordan here. Oh, hey, get a little bit lost there, eh? Come on, let's go meet the guy. All right, all right. Right. So, how am I going to do this? This is my inn. So I want to make it look like an accident, and I've got the perfect disguise to make that happen. How are you, Mr. So I'm going on the drums. Okay, play the drums for Jordan Cross. Now, is there anything I can drop on his head? Not by the looks. Tell Jordan Cross he's awesome. I will tell him he is awesome. Now, is he going to know that I can't play the drums when I try and do this? Uh, let's find out. Is it like a quick time event? Is this how, do, how does this work? Wow, the multi-talented 47. Holy shit. Rip it apart, my friend. Rip it apart. <laughs> this is... Oh my god, this is actually ridiculous. Yeah. Yeah. Color me impressed, 47. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, that was cool. All right. All right, you're like some kind of machine, aren't you? Damn straight. Oh, man. Nicely done. Why don't you walk with me, Abe? Sweet. There's something I want to show you. After you. That's right, Mother Trucker. After you. Take me to the floor. The killing floor. Where you will be killed. By me. I'm an assassin. And I've been sent to kill you. And I'm going to do it right now. I'm going to kill you, Jordan Cross. I'm going to kill you. Hurry up, I can't wait to kill you. Hey, I'm going to kill you, I'm going to kill you. I'm still pissed about Quinn leaving, but yeah, I'm 
Just don't expect it to roll out the red car. Wait, where are the guards coming in? We can't have a private talk if there's other people around. Where are we going? He wants to pitch me something. Oh, he wants to go solo! With me! As a, like a duo, I guess, which isn't quite solo. But still, why are you taking your guards with you? Come on, man. I don't know. Are they coming? Yeah, they are. You have been recorded by a security camera. Uh oh. The atrium roof. Alright, clear the roof. Okay, let's hear what he wants to say and then waste hey, his ass. Hey, Climbing the cultural ladder, sure. I see. Good work, 47. Like your style. It's very tight, very new way. You, uh, you should talk to Dexy when we get back to New York. Uh, who's running? Small agency. Very low profile. You wouldn't have <laughs> Old buddies from school, huh? Don't have the heart to let him go? <laughs> yeah, I thought so. But believe me, man. You gotta aim higher. Anyway. So I have this project coming. This is gonna be it! Yeah. Here we go! Um, are you ready? Right up your you ready, guys? Solo. Yeah, that's the plan. He is going solo! I knew it. I knew he's ditching his band. Like a douche. A Someone who does the job without getting noticed. Oh. I'm gonna so do you. I'm gonna that's do you do. right now. Great. Are you ready? Yeah. Press oh, E to push. Here we go. To your people if you it's have coming. Are you ready? You are you ready for this? Are you ready for this, Jordan Cross? Here we go! Oh! <laughs> Oh man! Oh no! Ah! Whew! Okay. Target down. Next up, Ken Morgan. Duck and roll. Oh. Don't mind me, just chilling. I should be here. Let me know if you need anything, Mr. De Silva. Sweet, now that was an accidental kill. I think uh, he fell off. Unnoticed kill. Sweet. And let's wait for it. Is it going to be an accidental kill? I would have thought that was noticed though, since uh, a lot of people heard that smash and the scream downstairs. But I don't know. Sure, whatever. It's a video game. It's not real life. How you doing, De Silva? I'm doing fine, my man. Oh, no, wait. wait. I'm doing fine, mate. Just going for a tinny on the balcony. Our target is still outside, and it looks like he spends most of his time outside. This guy's a secondary target, but he's not going to be any easier to kill. So our mission right now is basically just to track him, find out where he goes, and work out the best chance to pull off the kill. So, what are we really doing here, sir? If you don't mind me asking. Not at all. Snooping is man's defining trait. You see, Otis, the bulk of my work takes place behind the scenes. I'm a fixer. Only occasion. Court is like war. You only go if diplomacy fails. You're here on Thomas Cross's behalf, aren't you? That's why you don't want his son to know we're here? Bingo. Young Master Cross is the proverbial thorn in his father's eye. Not to mention a royal screw-up. Tossing his girlfriend over Really. You can't trust a man who's unable to control his emotions. Hmm. It's undignified, sir. Anyway, that is what we have. Well, we got some sweet revenge for his girlfriend, and like her, he was tossed off a roof. Dexy Barrett has just the thing we need. It's called due diligence. I get it. But if Jordan goes down, doesn't everyone who helped him escape justice go down with him? Including you and his dad. Necessarily. We would claim good faith and let Dexy Barrett take the fall. We have spun worse stories. Hey, Ramar. And yeah, what's up, man? that publicity yeah, is good for the media. Mm. Well, I'm glad I'm not a lawyer, sir. Yeah, no, I don't think my conscience could take it. <laughs> well, you know, Touche. I got another job. Yeah, I know. I'm excited. I know you're excited. Okay, so where's he going now? Aha, time for a cigar. That guy there knows I'm not able. And that's it, I think. That's his loop. So he just goes on this one loop around the whole compound. Okay, fair enough. I've seen my, in my inn at least. I can use the poison in his favorite dish. 
but I'll need to find poison. Now, where am I going to find that? Now, there's one obvious answer for where we'd find poison, and that is at the maintenance cupboard. But where are we going to find the maintenance cupboard? What's inside the hut over here? Two people. And there's something on the shelf over there. Maybe that's the poison. Yeah, maintenance. That must be where the poison is. There are two guys inside there, though. I'm going to have to find a way to get them outside. That guy's on his phone, though, and she's looking out the window. So maybe I can just climb through. Oops, sorry, man. Didn't mean to pinch your butt. Right, let's give it a go, then. Okay, he can't see me because he's looking at his phone. That isn't even rat poison, though, is it? That is a hammer. That guy sees me now, apparently. Yeah, no, there's no poison in here. Where's this the alley outside? Where am I now? Right, so there's got to be some rat poison around here. What do you elf eyes see, Agent 47? A lot of places to hide. Oh, can I sneak around here? Oh. Here we go. Oh man, that is some grade A sneaking if I do so myself. And there we go, the rat poison. This is it. Now we just need to get the hell out of Dodge. What's through here? Oh wait, the security chief comes through this way. So I could subdue him. Or just knock him out with a hammer. No, that's a screwdriver. Probably not heavy enough. Wait, do I have my coconut? Yeah, I still got the coconut. Sweet. And get ready. Here we go. Bam. Lights out, mother trucker. So let's take his disguise. Yoink. And drag him. Over to the box. So this disguise should get me uh, around most of these places, but the other guards might know I'm not legit. Let's see where it can take me. And back out to the streets. What's this? Another opportunity. Well, uh, you're no quitter. We've got to give you that. Look, I can fix this. I'm homing in on the problem. I just got to... Damn it! Yeah. Are you sure you don't want to ride home? It's not about that. There's this guest, big shot lawyer fella up in the Queen. Ah! He's offered to buy it. This, this piece of crap for like an obscene amount of money. I just gotta get the engine running. A guest wants to buy your crummy old tuck. According to the hotel gardener, Ken Morgan wants to purchase ah. his agent tuck as a souvenir. Unfortunately for him, he can't get the engine working. Well, you're good at fixing things, 47. I suggest you give the gardener a helping hand. This could be excellent bait. Here we go! So forget poison. We've actually got another way to get an accidental kill. Tourists, right? <laughs> they just love authenticity. I don't know, the guy wants to use it as a golf cart as Create oil leak. Whatever. Need a wrench. There's a drum here. Puncture with a screwdriver. Missing a wrench. Repair. Okay, I've got to go and find a wrench. But where am I going to find that? Probably down in the old maintenance lab. There's a screwdriver. Now, point point of reference and uh, reminder to you guys playing at home. It's always good to pick up wrenches and screwdrivers when you find them. Because they're useful for all kinds of stuff. Is that a wrench? No, that's a crowbar. Still looking for that wrench. Excuse now, is he going to be upset if I take his wrench? Tell me again. Why are we still not getting any? Just need to borrow that. Fix the tuck tuck. Now, are we going to fix it, or are we going to quote-unquote 
fix it. All right, let's do it. What up, Chief? I'm gonna help you out fixing up this ride. It's show 47. It's time to close. Now, the what deal. does that even mean? I could puncture the gasoline can, but what does that do? Opportunity completed. So he's gonna come outside, and then what? Am I gonna push him into something, or this gas can so close is definitely here, so that I can uh, explode it, right? Right, I think he's on his way now. The red thing is coming this way. Let's just see if we can puncture the drum without being seen. Oh, we can! Okay! Now, I think a silenced pistol shot... ...will explode this tuk-tuk, but it might explode itself. So, let's wait and see. He must be on his way pretty soon. Right, so he's on the move. Looks like he's on his way. Following the gardener. Is he gonna go? Yeah, I think he's going this way because he wants to buy the tuk-tuk. Now let's see, I might have to shoot the oil leak with my silenced pistol. And the perfect place to do that is probably, yeah, over here. I can do that from behind these, um, these crates. I think at least, but it might blow up on its own accord. There we go! It's gonna blow! Oh, yes! We need to find the car. Check everywhere. Both targets down. Now head towards an exit. Flawless. Now, where is there an exit? Okay, I see one over there. All right, guys, it's time to book it out of this map. Two flawless accidental kills. Should be a pretty high score. No innocents were killed in the assassination of these targets. Oh yeah, that's right. I'm your boss. Let me through. I love this job. You need to talk to the boss man about these uniforms. Let's just book it through the window. Oh yeah, 30 meters. Thanks for watching this episode of Hitman, guys. We just nailed the Bangkok mission. All I've got to do is locate the exit. There's numerous ones, though. But we're going to take this one down here, because I never went down here, and I'm curious. Ah, oh, yeah, just going to stroll on out. Until next time, guys. Thanks for watching. Hit subscribe and like, and I'll see you for the next episode of Hitman. Agent 47. Yeah. Oh, no way, so the whole thing was a ruse. We killed his son to get him off of his private island, and then as soon as he left the private island, he was assassinated by somebody else. Oh, man, which is the pawn in somebody's overall bigger game. But what's the big picture, 47? Can you see it? stripped clean within hours of the kidnapping. Someone wanted the son dead to lure out the father. Exactly. Someone smart enough to stay in the shadows while we did the wet work and the High Moors picked up the check. A shadow client. Someone got rich. The contract was just. That was a sound problem. I know you don't care about politics, 47. But Brexit. But ICA is neutral, or as has been. Can't allow ourselves to be manipulated. Besides... It's happened before. Italy. Morocco. Paris. 
All our clients got their intel the same way. Oh? Anonymous tips from a hidden source. Each contract perfectly legit, yet part of a grander design. I don't see the pattern. Somebody How does. is this not suspicious? The board has asked us to chase down this shadow client, and our analysts are closing in. Why Why do people, like, kind of just sit opposite each other on benches and talk to themselves and think... I know that. Too. That is incognito. Why don't you just get a coffee? Sit down. It's a date. Call it a date. Someone's playing a game, 47. A dangerous game. The question is... The game's too. Well, as long as it's not us. Nice barcode, by the way. Just wear a hat, man. Come on. That stands out. Well, I'll see you next time, guys, for the next episode of Hitman Agent 47. Take care.